Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're gonna to take a look at the new limited edition West Minatelli I Love You box. So this is spelled I as an E-Y-E -E, and this is one of the limited edition holiday boxes. This retails for 180 US dollars, but at the time of this recording, Violet Gray seems to have a mistake on their website. They have it listed as 148. Now, unfortunately that is a US only site, but it is a good deal. I picked this up from the Sephora sale and let's take a look at what's inside. We do have a heavy duty cardboard packaging. You can see it's like that metallic shiny gold and there's a little fabric pull here to pull this out. And inside we have a set of iPods, an eye pencil, and the I Love You mascara. So this I Love You mascara is a permanent item. This is always available and this retails for $58. iPods, you know, these, are typically going to be $88 for a set of iPods. You can see that these are magnetic, they're stacking. There is a slight difference. Um, for some reason, this set of iPods, I don't know if it's just mine, but typically when you screw the lid on, there's like, if you keep turning it, you get like a little click and it ensures that it's fully closed. This set of mine has not been doing that. So just something to note, but they are closing firmly, like they haven't opened up on their own. But these are magnetic, you can put them in any order you want. You can see we've got this beautiful limited edition color story here with the shiny gold versus a uh, sparkly gold. And this is not rough on the outside, definitely has a lacquer over it. And then we have an I Love You eye pencil, and this is in the shade Cold Noir and this is not available for purchase separately either. Now the iPods, these are all limited edition shades. The formula is different from the original iPods and that's why I picked this up. I do not love her typical iPod formula. For me, they crease and they kind of wear away pretty quickly. So I've been testing these. I do have a wear test to show you with these. So let's take a look at everything. So this is a set of the original iPods. This is the Leisure color story. These are a limited edition, everything's the same size, mix and match, we've got the same uh, you know, volume of product in there. These are each gonna be 0 0.03 ounces. They have a one year shelf life, they're made in Italy. And I just wanted to show you how this kinda has this extra click. So let's go ahead and take a look at the limited edition shades in here. I have to say I really like them and I definitely prefer this formula over the original. So the first shade here is mink, and you'll notice that these shades in the shiny gold are going to be your shimmery shadows. You can see it's still creamy, but this is more of a traditional like powder shade. So it's going to be more of a creamy powder, and this holds up really well. So this is the shade mink. This is a taupe with silver iridescence or silver shimmer in there, and I really like this shade. So it's actually kind of like a warmer leaning taupe. It's still going to be, it's pretty neutral, but it does lean a little bit more warm than cool, in my opinion. Then we have this shade here. This is called Smudge, and this is gonna be your matte. So the sparkly outside is gonna be matte inside. And just like with the other iPods, we do have the Westman Atelier logo in the matte shade. The shimmer shades are just gonna be flat. So this is going to be a powder matte. It goes on very strongly, very easy to blend. It's a nice formula. And this last shade here is Fet. So according to Westman Atelier, this is a champagne with gold iridescence. To me, this is more of a bronzy, coppery gold. You have more of those like orangey tones in here, which make me think more of a copper slash gold with just a touch of bronze but we do have some golden shimmer. So these are gonna be much more like a traditional shadow than the original iPod formula. Here is the eye pencil here. This is gonna be made in Europe, has a two year shelf life. It does not come with a sharpener and it's very creamy. It's kind of in between a creamy coal type pencil like the Victoria Beckham, which are very creamy and a traditional pencil because you still get a little bit of the texture of a traditional pencil, you know, kind of that like scraping sensation, but it's super creamy, so it's very soft to use. And here's a mascara. So 
First of all, you can see the wand is going to be kind of like fluffy. It's supposed to give you soft, fluffy lashes, and this is going to just be black. So this mascara is going to be eight and a half milliliters. We have a six month shelf life on this. It's made in Italy. And by the way, the pencil has a two year shelf life and it is 1.14 grams, as I mentioned, made in Europe. So let's take a look at some demos of these products and the wear test while we talk a little bit about the actual formulas and the price point of these. So in this first demo, I really wanted to try out all of the items. So I'm wearing them all together and I do have the wear test with this so you can kind of see what they look like after seven hours. And I only went to seven hours because I felt that was sufficient to see the results. So let's talk a little bit about the pricing of this box. West Manitelli's boxes, by the way, the insert inside the box that holds the iPods and everything, you can remove that so you're left with just the plain gold box and it's totally usable that way. So just something to know. I know sometimes people do like to re-gift things in those boxes. That would be a great use for it. Now, typically her iPods retail for $88. The mascara retails for $58. And the eye pencil, again, this is new to the box. This has not been released yet. So doing the math, it should be about $34 US dollars. Typically her boxes and her gift sets there is no savings purchasing as a set. There are typically gonna be limited edition items in their sets. And basically you're getting the nice like box packaging for you know no additional fee, but everything will add up to retail price. So based on that, my guess would be the eye pencil would be 34 US dollars. So as you can see, while I'm putting on these shadows, they go on very nicely. You can use fingers for these. You can use you know a brush. They're not hard to pick up. They're not hard to blend out. They're a really nice formula. I really like these. And this is kind of what I was hoping the original iPods were gonna be like. Now, one thing to note, you know, these are gonna be small in volume, like other West Manitale iPods. So we only have 0 0.03 ounces or 0.8 grams for each shade, but they are really gorgeous. And I do really, I really like these. So I think the color, the colors of these are really nice. They're special. I actually love this mink shade. And I really hope that these become permanent. And you know, the brown is pretty neutral. And overall, I would say that this set of iPods is pretty neutral. And you know, the mink is still leans a little warm in my opinion. The fat is definitely gonna be warmer, but overall we're pretty, you know, in the middle of the spectrum there. And I think it's a really nice set of iPods. So let's take a look at the eye pencil. The eye pencil is very, very creamy to go on. It's not quite as creamy as something like the Victoria Beckham eyeliners, but it is definitely creamier than, for example, Chanel. And it feels kind of in between a coal liner and a pencil liner. But you can see that it is definitely very easy to apply. One thing to note, and you'll see this in the wear test, it doesn't really, like if you put this on your waterline, it's not really gonna stay put. As a matter of fact, this product doesn't fully set on me unless I smudge it out. If I smudge it out, like you'll see in the second demo, that will stay put on my lids throughout the day. But if I have it piled up and I go to touch it, you'll see that the product does actually come up. So it, it never fully sets, whether it's on skin or waterline or whatever. As for the mascara, you can see that it goes on, it gives you really beautiful fluffy lashes, it looks great. So, you know, I think it looks really nice. First impressions are good until you take a look at the wear test. So let's talk a little bit about the results of the wear test here. So as you can see with the iPods, the shadows have held up great. There's no creasing, everything looks good. You know, there's no fading. I think everything looks great. There has been a little fallout from the shimmers. So there's a little bit, you can see there's a little sparkle under my eyes. Now, if you look at the eye pencil, you can see that, you know, if I touch my finger to the pencil, it is going to come off on my finger. And, you know, that's just kind of how it is. It does smudge a little bit under the eyes. Honestly, not too bad unless you touch it. But, you know, I really, I think it's only an, oh, I love the texture of it, but I think the performance of it's only okay. As for the mascara though, you can see that there is flaking under the eyes. For a brand new mascara, you know, that's just not really acceptable in my opinion. You know, if you have flaking and your mascara is like drying out because it's three months old, 
that's understandable. But for something that's brand new, you know, that's just really, it's not okay. So as much as I like the look of the mascara on the lashes, it's just not a great tube of mascara. So I think that is really, you know, a product that's just totally okay to, to skip. Now, as we're looking at the second demo, this is today's look. I smudged out the eyeliner. And once you smudge it out enough, you can definitely get it to kind of stay put. But honestly, you know, is that really going to be the purpose for it? No. So I think the eyeliner is really only okay. It smudges out very, very easily. It's creamy to put on, feels great going on, but it's just only okay. <laughs> However, the eye pods in this set, I really, really like. And you can see that this mink shade and the fet shade, they go on beautifully. And if you do smudge the eyeliner underneath, these are sheer enough that you can still see, you know, the color a little bit from the liner, uh, you know, once you have those shadows over it. So they're very versatile and the performance on these was really good. So overall, is this box worth it? Again, personal decision, but if you're buying the box, I would purchase it for the eye pods, not so much the mascara or the eye pencil. I think the eye pencil is nice though. I, I do like the eye pencil, you know, well enough, but the mascara is really kind of a, a miss for me. So, um, you know, if you take out the value of it, it does become a very expensive box set. So you need to really be sure that you love these shades of the eye pods before purchasing it. Overall though, I think if you can get this box on sale, it is worth it for these limited edition shades if you are comfortable with West Atelier pricing of products in general. So I have to say I am very happy with this formula of iPods and I do hope they continue to use this formula in the future shades that come out. And I really hope that they make this particular color story permanent because this is a really great set of neutrals that you can dress up or dress down for a variety of occasions throughout the year. So, you know, I do hope that these will come back and I'm sure we'll see more of these liners. I'd love to see a brown, um, but again, it's just kind of okay. Now, just to show you, this here is the liner that I swatched. It has now been about 30 minutes since I applied this swatch. So you can see how much it still smudges and you know it's just it never fully completely sets down unless you smudge it out so let's just compare a few of the other westman atelier shadows to these and we're just going to look at shades that are similar so we're going back to the leisure set and let's start off with this shade chocolat again you can see this formula is kind of like a dry putty cream texture and you know it's it looks nice at first, but I don't love it. One thing to note, this does have more of a satin finish compared to the smudge shade here. Smudge is going to be a little bit cooler in tone. It's definitely going to be more matte, but it's basically a cooler version of Chocolat. Now, another shade from that set, this is Tabak. And this one here, you know, it's really not going to quite match anything here, but I did think that this comparison would be helpful with Fet. You can see that this has just a little bit more, um, a little more bronze in it than FET, which is just a little bit more coppery. Again, we're looking more at a satin instead of a shimmer there. Now, I only have one other comparison from the Westman Atelier shades. This is Frappe, and this one here is from the Rendezvous set, which is my favorite of the Westman Atelier iPod sets with the other formula. You can see that this shade is gonna be a little bit cooler than smudge, but it is also gonna be softer and lighter. So overall, these three shades that come in this limited edition iPod set, they are gorgeous, but they are gonna be shades that pretty much everybody already has in their collection. There's nothing unique about them, but they are a really nice formula. And if you love the Westman Atelier products, their clean beauty standards, they're a good option. And as I mentioned before, the eye pencil, I think, is a nice texture, but it just doesn't perform as well as I would like. I would prefer it to set a little bit more. So this would be an okay product. Um, but, you know, if I were purchasing that with the iPod, I would be fine with that. The mascara, however, really just isn't very good. 
So, you know, I don't love the mascara mostly because of all of the flaking. I think it looks good when you first put it on, but it just doesn't, you know, it, it should not be flaking. So I think this is a miss. So my overall opinion of this box is that if you're gonna purchase this on sale, you're gonna be purchasing it really for the iPods. And I do really like these iPods, but I don't think this box is worth full price personally. And that's mainly just because of the other two products. These iPods though, I really hope that they end up making this color story permanent. I hope that they continue to use this formula in the future. I really like this formula. And if you're somebody who's been disappointed by the Westman Atelier iPods in the past, these are definitely way better. I would, you know, if all of them, all of them were like this, I would definitely be purchasing her iPods when they come out. So I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what you think of this set, if you've picked this up and what your thoughts are on it. So please share down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you very soon. Have a wonderful day.